Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here. Today I'm going to be discussing five things that I'm going to try to do in 2019 to try to fight back in my own small way. I know I'm just one person, but this is some things that I'm going to try to do to fight back against the ever encroaching problem with monetization and these game companies releasing games that aren't finished and expecting us to foot the bill to quality test their game. So, these are five things that I'm going to attempt to do. Maybe these are things that some of you already might do some of them. Maybe you're ahead of old coach on some of these things, but this is some stuff that I'm going to try to do to try to fight back in my own small way. So the first thing that I'm going to do, number one, is I am not going to be purchasing any form of microtransaction of any kind. I don't care what it is. I'm not going to put any money into any virtual store. I don't care if it's a game that I love. It's not happening. I'm not putting another dime besides the cost of the game into any game in 2019 now like i said some of you may already do this maybe you've never bought a microtransaction in your life well i'm guilty as charged i've bought plenty of microtransactions in my time but if i'm gonna if i'm going to try to do what i can and i really don't want any of this stuff in my games anymore then i can't be part of the problem so i'm not going to buy anything i don't care if it's just cosmetic i don't care at all unless i am earning this currency in the game to spend Nothing is getting bought from me in any of these storefronts. I don't care how much I want it. I don't care how much I like the game. I don't care how much I want to support the publisher or the developer. It's not happening. I'm putting a stop to it. Full stop. 2019. No microtransactions. Let's move on. Second thing I'm going to do. And this is something that I had to think about because... This is something that I've been on the fence about, and I've, I've talked about this previously in a couple other videos. But what I'm go what I've decided to do is I'm going to go through with it. And right now, Electronic Arts EA for 2019, you are on a minimum one year ban from Coach Toolshed. That's right, you are not getting any purchases. This includes Anthem, and I'm not going to be covering that game at all. If EA themselves does something that's newsworthy, I will cover that, but I am not going to be covering any of their games, including Anthem. Now, I realize I could probably get a few thousand subscribers, maybe, if I cover Anthem and start talking about that game, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot to talk about when it comes out, but I am not going to be talking about that game. I'm sorry. EA, you have brought this on yourself. You have done this to yourselves, the way you mocked fans this year, and I have said this before, I am no, I don't care at all about Battlefield 5, but I do care when a publisher goes out of its way to consistently mock its player base. Add in the fact that EA has consistently the worst monetization practices in the AAA industry, and this is an easy call. 2019, EA, you're on the bench. You are on full suspension for the year, and it's incumbent on you to get yourself off if you want me to buy any of your games going forward. This is a minimum one-year suspension, EA, and you earned it. Third thing I'm going to be doing this year, no more season passes unless it meets this specific criteria. I will only purchase a season pass if the game A had to have already come out and been a full and complete game that I enjoyed that I didn't feel was already lacking in some sort of meaningful content. And two, the season pass has to be fully released and reviewed by the time I will even consider looking at it. I learned my lesson for the final time this year. That's all it's going to take. Thanks, Ubisoft. You screwed me again. No more season passes. And you want to know what? Even This even goes... For developers that people praise at all times, like Naughty Dog, because the last time I bought a Naughty Dog season pass, I got screwed there too. So no season passes until it is fully released, and I've had a chance to look at it from an outside angle. I am not jumping on board with any more of your nonsense season passes, and that goes for your crap Ultimate Editions too. They're both out. 2019, full industry-wide. Not happening. Coach Tool shit. Get on the bench, season passes. The fourth thing I'm going to do, and this is something that I already pretty much do for the most part, but I have made an exception for a few games still in the last year. But this time, 2019, totally off the table. No pre-orders of any kind. That's right. Not happening. And this is something I know already a lot of people do. Already a lot of people preach this as well. Unless there is a caveat. If you can pre-order from a place that you know you will not be 
fully finalized, suckered into buying it. That means basically don't pre-order anything off any of these digital storefronts on consoles, definitely, because those can make it very difficult to get your pre-order back. But if you can get out of it, that might be a different story. But uh, my, my suggestion to you and what I'm going to be doing is no pre-orders of any kind. I'm not going to be giving these, these companies any of my money until, in fact, that goes until there's actually a substantial amount of reviews out. Because what happens when we see these games that launch and then we don't get reviews for two weeks after? Look at Fallout 76. We didn't see any reviews for that game until at least 10 days after the game actually came out. It was amazing. For a game that bad, for people to just be buying it and buying it without the, the general public being aware of some of the major problems with the game because there were no reviews about it. That's the sort of thing I'm talking about. So it's not just, oh, no pre-order. It's going to be... I want to make sure there's actually reviews out about these games, which guess what? Games as a service games, that's going to put you on notice as well. And probably not too many of you are going to get bought this year by me either. Maybe, maybe one or two. Maybe. Maybe just one. I think I might have my eye on one. But even that one, I got my eye on you. But anyway, moving on to the final thing. And this is a thing that I actually never thought that I would ever say, but I'm saying it now. 2019, joining EA in the minimum suspension for one year is Bethesda Softworks. That's right. Not Bethesda Game Studios. It's Bethesda Softworks. That means I'm not buying Rage 2. That means I'm not buying whatever you're calling the next Wolfenstein I forget. And I'm not buying Doom Eternal. None of this is happening. And Bethesda Softworks, this is because you continue to show an insane amount of hubris and contempt towards your fans, even in the wake of one of the biggest public relation disaster releases we've seen in gaming history. And you continue to just show insane amounts of arrogance. So Bethesda, because you seem to have not learned anything from fallout 76 you're on a full suspension also for me for the year congratulations you joined ea in earning a suspension and it once again it is incumbent upon you to get yourself off this list for the future because i'm putting my money where my mouth is this year 2019 i'm putting my foot down we've actually got a little bit of a foot in the door when it comes to pushback against these companies a lot of them have their stocks on the rope, and I know I'm not going to get into the discussion. People want to argue all day about why that is. People want to get into big stock market discussions. That's not what that's not what I'm going to get into here. But right now, the fact is that regardless of everything else, they are having issues with their stocks. So if we're ever going to make any sort of pushback, we can't do it when they're riding high on seven-year highs for their stocks. We have to do it when they've, had, when they've seen this 50% drop in their stocks over the last six months. Regardless of what the year-over-year year is, I understand all that. People want to break everything down and break every, all, all the stock prices down. That's not what I'm talking about. The fact is, if you were someone who invested at the peak of these stocks, you haven't seen your money back. You have lost your shirt in these investments. If you were one of the people who bought in at the peak of these companies not that long ago, earlier this year but now they've fallen off the map far faster than a lot of the other stock market problems that we've been seeing so if we're gonna make any headway now's the time because we've already seen that these companies don't care what we have to say unless we're saying it with our money they could care less if we moan and we complain about features in the game that we don't want or stuff they're putting in the game that we don't want. These microtransactions, whatever it is, whatever you want, whatever your problem is, they're not listening to us. The only thing we can do is fight back by not giving them any more money. And to me, we've seen enough. I've seen enough of dirty microtransactions and season passes that don't live up to billing and games that you pre-order and then they don't deliver a full game when it actually comes out and EA and Bethesda have well and truly earned their spot on this list and you might say coach what about Activision how come Activision is not on the list well it's they're publishing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice and I can't deny myself a From Software game I'm sorry guys they're gonna get at least one sale for me this year so I'm not putting them on the list this is all this is what I can handle I put on this list the stuff that I can handle Maybe you already do all of this. Maybe you just do a couple of these things. But anyway, that's it for me, Coach Toolshed. These are just five things that I'm going to try to do 
Maybe, maybe you already do these things, like I said. If not, maybe you want to consider doing some of these things because, like I said, we have no other alternative. They don't care what we say on the message boards. They don't care if we download vote their videos on YouTube. They don't care at all. The only thing they care about is the money end of it. And the only way we can affect that is to not put our money into their into their coffers. So this is this is what I'm gonna do. 2019, I'm gonna to try to, to make a stand. And people and I don't want to hear all the people saying, that's anti-capitalist. No, actually, this wouldn't even be anti-capitalist. This is how a free market economy works. If I don't want it, don't buy it, right? That's the argument I keep hearing. So, don't, don't come at me with any political garbage or any of that. I'm speaking with my wallet as a consumer who's fed up. All right? That's how it's supposed to work. These companies forget that we are the ultimate bosses, not their investors, because their investors will run for the hills the second we leave. We're the ultimate bosses here. That's how business works. And so I'm withholding my money. They're not getting any contracts from me for 2019. Congratulations, games industry. You played yourself. EA and Bethesda, it's on you to step up. Especially you, Bethesda. What are you going to do? Stop acting like idiots. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you want to stay in tune with the channel headed forward. And as always, keep it turned to 11.